Hey y'all, it's Friday night. What we doing tonight? <laughs> um, I'm doing nothing. And that's because of a good reason. I'm running a marathon in a little over a month. So tomorrow is a big run day. I do my big runs on Saturdays. I know a lot of people do them on Sundays, but my work schedule doesn't allow for that. And that's okay. I enjoy my morning Saturdays. It's a good time. And tomorrow I'm doing two hours. I do time and just shoot for mileage because I wanna work on time on my feet since I'm not really going for like a certain time for the whole marathon. Like I wanna finish, that's it. <laughs> um, but I hope you all are having a great night. I'm gonna hang out with my cat, Tyler, hi, hi. <laughs> He's bathing, sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> so I wanna quickly also talk about prep the night before because I'm talking to you from the night before. Um, before a big run, you want to really take the time to prep for it like you got your marathon tomorrow. And that includes finding what works for you food-wise. And I'm saying this because, you know, you definitely need to carb up, like usually like a pasta or a rice dish, something like that. But also you wanna make sure it settles in your stomach so you're not feeling rough the next day. Like I did a spicy arriabata sauce for my pasta the night before my 16 miler run for my last marathon training. And y'all, that that was some heartburn <laughs> when I was at like mile six and it was a rough one. Um, so that was just a lesson that I learned that I wanted to share. Really think about like how it sits in your stomach. Do you have to go to the bathroom a lot? Um, how does it feel in your chest, um, you know, like indigestion, stuff like that. You just want to feel good. You want to set yourself up for success. So I like to stay away from spices and just really like a lot of spicy type anything like, um, you know, I don't know, anything spice wise that would affect you. Um, even like red sauces aren't great overall for pasta, I think. But as long as it's not spicy, you're usually fine. Um, and then, yeah, a lot of hydration. So I like to do, for my night before hydration, I like to use Noon. Um, it doesn't have a lot of like sugars and is just easy to drink. I like the, I like that it's lighter in flavor. It's better to me, especially for the night before, any time of day. But like for race day, I use liquid IV. Um, so I do run, when I do my big runs, I do run with that because I run with like a water bottle and I prep with that as well. Anyway, um, and then just like a lot of really good sleep and doing things that will help you sleep. So you're nervous, watch something that like relaxes you, eases you, or read a book that you love or something like that that just makes you calm take a bath, do a little spa night, whatever you wanna do that'll make you feel the best for the next day. Um, and again, you wanna practice this so that when you get to race day, you can just go out there and have fun. If you're like me and we're just bucket listing and aiming to just cross that finish line, think about like your practice, not as like the tough part, but it's the part that you need to sacrifice your time for so that when you go out there on race day, you can just have a good ass time. You can smile at people, you can dance, do whatever you need to do because, you know, unless you're really trying to train for it and like, I don't know, win one or whatever, what's the point in being miserable out there? Why do it, you know, anyway. That's all for today, folks. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll see you out there tomorrow. Good morning. <laughs> it is 5.30 right now. I am eating oatmeal with banana and cinnamon and drinking coffee. This is what I do every morning before my run. Um, I'll let it digest and then I'll start getting dressed and um, get my like snacks ready and stuff like that. It's also really fun to have Tyler support. Hi, honey. Look at the camera. Say hi. Oh, you just want the food. No. <laughs> but yes, he likes to hang out with me. Sometimes when I'm up earlier than him, he's like, 
What are we doing? Why are we up? <laughs> I feel like this is kind of loud. Okay, I need my microphone for this. I just want to tell you about my outfit. Decide for now. So I'm wearing athletic shorts. I love these shorts because they have the underwear liner. They don't have the longer short liner, which I always think is annoying and rides up a lot on me. So these have always been really comfy and they have little pockets. I'll put my right here. I'll put like my gels and my um like uh, salt shoes in them as well. And then I have a short sleeve on today because I think for the race I am running an A Team TMF shirt to support it um, and it does make a difference how the fabric hits your body I ran my first marathon with a tank top and it felt amazing um, don't have my shoes on yet but I'll wear on running shoes the best and then my fourth bra it's funny it's this um, brand called spiritual gangster which is actually more of a, um, like a yoga bra but you know my uh, the chest isn't really a concern so um, for support <laughs> so I wanted to wear something more comfy and this actually does have a lot of support I feel really good it doesn't chafe and I love it and then lastly I always put on my till I collapse Eminem sweatshirt he is my all-time favorite artist and all-time favorite song motivator and there's like so many songs on my playlist or my marathon playlist okay, but anyway all right, let's go all right y'all i have to do a voice over here because the sound got messed up when i filmed this in the bathroom but i'm showing up a product that i love the body glide roll on it is super easy to use super easy for like you're traveling for your race anything like that and you can, I got the foot and the body size. Now I'm pretty sure that they're the same thing. So if you only want to order one, that's probably all you need. The body size is just like a really good size. Um, and I really like to use it in places like my bra line or the shorts, just anywhere that it's tighter, where it might chafe or cause, you know, anything kind of unpleasant. Um, people have bled from yeah, sorry, that's gross, but it's true. Um, it's just the reality. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's a product that I love, and I hope it helps you as much as it helps me. Okay, so I like to do a few things to warm up for runs. Foam rolling. I'm not gonna like show you through the foam rolls. I've already done that in a video. Go back to my first one if you want to see that. <laughs> um, yeah, I. Okay, so as I do my first movement prep stuff, yes, again, foam rolling, and then I do a few things. I do seated leg lifts, I do a single leg glute bridge of some, short, of some sort, a back prep, a core prep, and then I, you know, a few stretches, and then I really get going into the dynamics, which I will do later, but I have posted this in a video already. Go back to my first one if you want to see it. I want to take you through that all over again, but I will in the description repost what that exactly is. <laughs> okay, and one of the last things I do before I head out, I feel like I'm going to say this a lot, <laughs> but this is truly like the final things. I put on sunscreen, of course, if you're running outside, a must, in general a must, and I wear a visor. And I have my hair up in a bun because it feels the best. So look how cute. <laughs> no, I I really love a visor because of the way it sits on my head. I like that my ears are a little more free. Sometimes caps sit lower. And most importantly, I love that my head can breathe. It's like one of the most important things to me is like feeling like I got really good flow and airflow. Um, because it's not like you necessarily get, unless you're running on a hot day, yeah, you're hot, but 
to me when I'm running, I get like, you know, your body heat rises and I just like things feeling like they can breathe. It's just um, something important to me. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna put my sweatshirt on. <laughs> Okay, so the sun's starting to come out, so I'm gonna use natural light, just so you know. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna show you the few things that I use or take with me when I run for fuel. So a protein bar. Today I'm doing Cliff Protein Builders. Typically I do like a no-cow bar, something smaller and easier to take with me, but that's fine. Um, I use these Bolt Organic Energy Chews. I like the way they sit in my stomach. That is one thing you really do have to pay attention to is how the chews sit in your stomach or gels or whatever it is because if they bother your tummy, um, you know, you may have to go to the bathroom. And I don't know why that's everyone's biggest fear. Like, just go to the bathroom. Don't poop yourself or whatever. <laughs> but it's good to just like do your best and make sure that doesn't happen. And then last but not least, these electrolyte fast shoes. These were really helpful um, in my marathon. Um, just like a really quick way to get some energy in, especially after I had finished all my shoes. I took more of those, they were easier to fit. And yes, it can all fit in your shorts, your little pouch, whatever it is. Um, I also do a carry water bottle, which I don't have with me right now. I'll use that on my next run. I had to get a new one. But I'll put a hydration of some sort. Usually, usually, sorry, none. I like to use um, liquid IV for the runs because, again, it's just like a little more sugar and energy, and energy kick. And that's really my focus is like feeling energized and good. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, let's let's go run. <laughs> okay, one last thing before we run. <laughs> um, so I use these Xperia my socks um i don't really have socks yet that i love it's all that's still kind of a learning process um so I'll, i'm gonna keep trying them out but these have been really good there are definitely some that have made my foot blister more and these have always been good so why change what works um <laughs> all right finally i want to talk about on running shoes on is a game changer and i know people have their whatever is about it but I used to run with Asics and I used to run with um, Nikes and stuff like that and let me just tell you I when I was a tennis I was a tennis player and I broke my left hip when I played tennis and ever since then like when I would run I kind of get this like sharp pain once in a while in my left hip and just kind of not let it go but be like okay whatever um, this is just a you know, an injury side effect years and years and years later until I switched to on. And I will tell you, my hip pain went away immediately. Like, no lie, put these on immediately. And I think it's because, so I do have like slightly, like not flat feet, but like flatter than you like. And so um, the running stores would always be like Asics because it gives you a little more cushion on the inside of your foot but I as a personal trainer have learned over the years you don't want to force your foot or your body into positions it's not prepared for so my foot was weak not incapable not like medically an issue so I was putting my foot in a position that was causing like an issue with the alignment of my legs that's what I believe because of how the shift happened these have support, but like softer support. And that's what I really love. I love that they're light. I don't know what exactly this technology is, but I like it. <laughs> and they're cute. Also, Roger Federer, tennis icon and legend Federer, um, is a person that is with on. So, you know, it just adds to it for me. I was a huge fan of his and still am um, growing up. So, <laughs> um, anyway. Highly recommend at least trying these. At the very least, the everyday walking shoe is a favorite of every single person I know that has them that isn't necessarily a big fan of the running shoe. But I promise, these are awesome. All right, let's go run. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, sorry, the traffic noise can be super loud outside, but we're off to run. It's a beautiful day. Hey y'all! <laughs> All right, I did it. Big run done. I love how I feel after these. It's my bet, my favorite feeling. And I did 13.1 miles in a little over two hours. Very happy about that because I do walk. Um, I'm not running the whole thing. My ass is not two-step in an entire marathon. I enjoy a good walk so I can fuel up and that helps me get faster during my runs. So my last two miles, I was running at like an eight, 8.15 minute per mile pace and I start at like 10 minute per mile paces. And then I try to make my way down as time goes on the best feeling to finish faster than how you started. All right, so I'm gonna start my post-run routine. That's not gonna be on this video. Next week, I'm gonna film myself during my run and then how I recover afterwards as well. I didn't do it during this one because it was my first like really big run and I just really wanted to focus on that. That's okay. I took you through how I start um, or my time before my run. <laughs> All right, have a wonderful day, y'all.